You ever go to pick something up and, oh man, my lower back, my SI joint, ah, it hurts really bad. And you're wondering, what can you do to help strengthen your core to make this stop happening? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Because the reality is this, when we have strong core muscles, particularly the obliques, these muscles right here on the sides of the core, the internal obliques right here, the transverse abdominis, the things that keep your spine rigid, they, they prevent your spine from rotating or moving from side to side. When those muscles are active and when those muscles are strong, then when you go to pick something up off the ground, all of a sudden, not only do you move with better form, but you have more stability in your spine, which means less wiggle room for causing things like sciatica and aches and pains in your lower back. So how do you strengthen your oblique muscles? Well, I'm gonna show you a beginner variation of an oblique movement that you can do right now to start strengthening your obliques from the comfort of your own home. So follow along. All you're gonna need is a surface that is somewhere between hip and knee height. The lower the surface, the harder this will be. The higher the surface, the easier this will be. And if this is too much for you, you can even do this on a wall with your hand on a wall. Now, what you're gonna do is this. Put your hand on the surface like this and squeeze the surface with your fingertips. It's really important to have an active hand because a lot of people don't have a lot of strength and flexibility in their wrists. Maybe you have carpal tunnel or maybe even have arthritis in your wrists. This will help strengthen your wrists, create more flexibility and prevent your wrists from hurting. So hand on the surface, squeeze the surface with your hand. Now you're gonna stack your feet like this. If this is too hard for you too, you start losing balance, then what you're gonna do is put one foot in the front one foot in the back and keep your feet in alignment like this, okay? I'm gonna go back to the stacking variation though. From here, you're going to go tall posture and you're gonna to try to make it so there's a straight line between your ankles, through your hips, through your chest, and through the top of your head. Nice straight line. You can even practice in front of a mirror if you need to. This hand can go on the hip like this and if you wanna activate the shoulder blades even more, pull your elbow back like this. Nice tall posture, tall through the top of the head. Now here's the magic piece of this movement that nobody teaches not just holding this position and pushing your arm out. Most people hold this position and what you'll notice is you'll be pushing your arm up like this. Now when you push your arm up like this, you're using your shoulders and you're deactivating your lats and your obliques. So in this position, instead of pushing your arm up, imagine you're trying to drag any surface that you're on, a couch, whatever. Imagine you're trying to drag it towards your hip. So I'm gonna grip the ground, I'm gonna find my position and instead of pushing up, I'm going to pull this way. Whoa, the movement just got 10 times harder. Keep that active pull the entire time so you feel the lat and you feel the obliques going really, really crazy. Hold this position for up to 60 seconds. Again, practicing perfect form as you do it. Glutes tight, straight alignment, activate the lat, pull those, squeeze the wrist, tall to the top of the head, right? Hold it for 60 seconds. Woo! Once you're able to get through 60 seconds, pause, shake it out, wait for 30 seconds or so, and switch and go to the other side and hold it for 60 more seconds. Again, focusing on form first, intensity second. All right, if you wanna put this into a workout, here's how you can accomplish this. You can do 60 seconds on the left side and then rest for about 30 seconds, then 60 seconds on the right side and rest for 30 seconds. And you can repeat this three times around and you can do this three days per week. This will take you less than 10 minutes to strengthen your obliques and your core muscles, which will help stabilize your core and prevent any lower back pain that you might be having. Now, if this variation is too hard for you, the high chair side plank, you can do a wall side plank like this. Just make sure to pay attention to good form that we taught you in this video. If this is too easy for you, then you can try a low chair side plank like this, or you can even try a full side plank on the ground like this. Again, Focus on form first and making sure each movement feels comfortable before going to the next variation up. So pick your variation, practice the side plank three days a week, strengthen those deep core muscles, those obliques, those internal obliques, and you will protect your lower back, strengthen your core, and feel amazing in your body again.